Hey everyone, I thought I'd show you a little bit about what it takes to build a tube drive module. We use these wire harnesses to connect everything to the other boards, put in some standoffs, to screw everything together and make sure it's tight. We use this, this is another circuit board uh, that holds the pots, which are stereo matched. I'll get to that a little bit later. making sure everything is flush. As I said, they're stereo matched, so we built this testing jig that's connected to the computer via data logger, and you can use it to measure eight pots at once and uh, get the perfect stereo balance. Let's not forget the LEDs. Takes a little bit of fiddling. Normally we'd use a assembly jig for this, so we can put lots of circuit boards at once, but since it's just for this video, um, I just put a towel underneath so it doesn't move while I'm soldering everything. Um, I put the pots first so that I can put the switches on later and everything is flush when soldering everything together. Here are the switches. I'm just putting in a temporary front panel so that everything is flush against the back of the circuit board while I solder it. Just testing the switches, making every sure everything feels great. Then it's time to connect it to the other circuit boards with the wiring harnesses I mentioned earlier. Screwing everything together, make sure that it's tight. Here's a new front panel. I'm just checking to make sure that there's no scratches or anything like that. Use some nuts to tighten everything down. Now it's time for some knobs. This can be a little bit finicky as they need to line up perfectly, but some editing magic makes it look very easy. All right, next time I'll show you how the tubes are burned in, stereo matched, and now everything is finished. Thanks.